How are you guys doing tonight? Good. You know, as a, as a society, we've become this so, you know this socialized. Uh, we don't talk to each other anymore. We don't talk face to face. There's none of this interaction. You know what? I'll text you guys. Uh, really, tonight I am going to talk to you, and please don't talk back. I was talking to my neighbor. My next door neighbor happens. Uh, his name is Joe, and he tells me he's turning 80 today. So I said, well, you're 80. How in the hell could you possibly know you could have forgotten? He says, no, this morning I counted the rings on my penis. <laughs> he said to me that he had gotten himself a Viagra prescription, and I looked at him like, 80? And he says, no, no, it's not for sex. It's just that I'm tired of peeing on my shoe, he said. <laughs> so, he wound up with a four-hour erection, and he didn't know what to do. He said he was walking towards the phone, and I said, no, you weren't. You were waddling towards the phone, which is not a pretty picture of Davey. But it was late at night, it was like 2 in the morning, he said, and he got the doctor on call, who happened to be a foreigner, and there was a little bit of a language barrier. By the time he explained to him about the four-hour erection, the doctor said to him, election? That's in November. <laughs> Joe the neighbor said to him, really? Who are you voting for? He's getting very forgetful. He told me he made a mix-up with his poly grip, and he used preparation H instead. So now he says he talks like an asshole, but his gums don't itch. A couple of my older friends have done that. I know that because that's where I got that from. I come home the other day and my wife is singing and she's holding an envelope and she's saying, You got a red light ticket, you got a red light ticket. So I'm like, well it's gotta be one of the ones you wished on me. She says, No, 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 I don't wish them on you. I, I just don't want you to get a ticket. So she goes inside and she punches it up on the video and she comes out dancing. I wasn't with you. I wasn't with you. <laughs> So I go inside, I look on the computer, and it is, holy moly, clear. I mean, you could see the car, you could see who's in the car. And it clearly has me going to make it all right without barely even stopping. So I'm guilty of it. I'm telling a friend of mine about it, and he says, yeah, that happened to me. He says, and I couldn't punch it up, and so I called up the number. And so he calls up the number, and the guy goes, yes, yes, our computer's are down. He says, but I, but I have it right here, right? It's right here in front of me. What do you want to know? He says, well, how's he going to win that? The guy says, oh, yeah, yeah. He says, uh, you, you barely stopped, and, and you made a right, and you got a ticket. So he's about to get ready to get off the phone, and the guy says, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. He says, looking at this video, it looks like you're leaning to the right. Are you on your cell phone? <laughs> He says, that year car should have a shoulder harness, and I don't see no strap across your back. <laughs> My friend's freaking out. The guy says, is that a cause light on the dashboard holder, man? Does it look like blue balance to me? By this, my friend said, you know, okay, okay, how much are you? How much are you? You got off the phone. I told you my wife and I, well, I'm getting older. My wife isn't, but I drag her out to eat dinner real early. A lot of times I just want to be back home. I think most of us feel very comfortable at home, so you show up at Applebee's or even Miller's Ale House right here. Yeah? Around 5 o'clock, there's nobody around. The wait, you know, hostess comes up. Clearly, it's just the two of us. How many? <laughs> really? I always want to say nine. <laughs> Ten, 19 of us. 19. You see a bus pulling up there? Right? That's us. They're all coming in here, okay? You got any specials? Maybe 20 may be coming. But that also happens at the supermarket. You go in, sometimes you're running and you just want to get two things, right? Grape 
and gone. No. Great gone. Well, it's just the one thing. Great gone, right? <laughs> and you sit there and you put it up and the girl always says, Do you have a stop and shop card? <laughs> I don't carry it. No, I don't. Well, do you have your phone number? I'll look it up. Like, no, I just have these two things. I, I just really want to get out of here. What, what, am I going to save any money? Do you have an email address? I'll send you some coupons. Like, some, sometimes I just want to just like grab it, run out and steal it, just to save time. But I think she'd probably say something like, Oh, we have your number now. Here's your get out of jail card. Oh my God, it's nuts. Have you guys, uh, you guys watch TV? Obviously, uh, the Bates family is a family that has 19 kids. I don't know if you guys know this. I happen to be watching. Here's the reporter. Counting them, 18, 19, turns to the wife, he says, Wow, Mrs. Bates, 19, do you want to have any more? And she's 45, with 19 kids. Her answer is, well, we'll take what God gives us. <laughs> what God gives you or what your husband gives Because <laughs> I think it goes like this. If during his standing ovation, he has an ejaculation during your ovulation, you're adding one more to your little nation. <laughs> Keep clapping, I got 10 seconds left. No. <laughs> I go golfing with three of my friends, okay? And if you don't know, that makes it a force. So the four of us are playing golf, and I, you didn't know that? <laughs> Told you not to talk, now I gotta tell you another joke. No. <laughs> well, it's a force. So I said to him, hey, you wanna get a 12 pack of beer? And he says, why? Do you wanna play as a threesome? <laughs> He's old too. I, I'm, t I'm talking to him about it, and uh, I said to him, you know, like, I really want to thank you guys for making my day so good today, because I'm playing with two of my best friends. <laughs> I used to work on the trains, and I came across one of the oddest things I ever have, and it was a fake leg up on the train. Now, I come up on this thing, I'm wondering, <laughs> How did this guy get off the train without realizing? I mean, let's go, Harry. I'm hitting the bar now. That's the only time I have, folks. I'll be back. Don't forget to take the